President William Ruto's cabinet is now complete. After the 24 appointees took the oath of office, the swearing in ceremony was presided over by the head of state, President William Ruto. Felix Koske, who replaced Joseph Kinyua as the head of public service, was the first to take the oath of office. I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the executive office of the president as the chief of staff and head of public service that I undertake to hold this public office with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the president for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties. Koske's swearing in allowed him to take charge of administering the oath, calling the cabinet secretary's appointees to the podium to swear their respective allegiances. Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi was the first cabinet appointee to take the oath of office, followed by Attorney General appointee Justin Muturi. Kithure Kindiki, the Interior Ministry designate, was that to be sworn into office. That I undertake to hold my office as cabinet secretary with honor and dignity. Following their swearing in, all the cabinet secretaries assume office with immediate effect marking the end of an era for all CSs under President Uhuru Kenyatta's administration. This is an exception to Simon Chelegui, the former Labour minister who's been retained as CS in Ruto's administration. Chelegui is now in charge of the corporate ministry. And that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Speaking after the 24 cabinet appointees took the oath of office, President Ruto said that the newly appointed cabinet secretaries had no option but to serve the electorate to their best. In the discharge of your duties in the various ministries that you will be serving, you will have my wholesome support. You will have my support. Because you have no option other than to succeed. Uh, failure is not an option, good people. We have a country to look after. We have a plan to implement. And we have the people of Kenya watching us. So you will have my unqualified support so that you can succeed. Because in your success is the success of our administration and the success of our country. The president further called for mutual respect between the cabinet and elected officials. He noted that the CSs will be appearing to parliament to present their plans and progress of their dockets and to be held accountable for their dockets. We have agreed with the legislature that they will provide a platform for us as members of the executive to access the floor of the House so that we can explain our agenda, we can explain our programs, they can interrogate what we are doing so that the people of Kenya can understand and make an input in every commitment we have made, every plan we have, and every program that we are going to run.